$1.3 trillion for national defense, and Congress refuses to talk about it. $1.3 trillion for the military security budget, and then we have programs like Planned Parenthood that are being cut, or at least being on the table for being cut, the elderly uh, elderly grandparents, the foster kids, then you have programs like Heating for Low Income Families. Why is that on the table, and why aren't we talking about the military budget? Why aren't we talking about things like the war that has been going on for years now, that's being taken, that's, that's, I, I, I just, why aren't we talking about this? There's no talk of this at all. We need to be talking about it. At least say something. Can't just ignore it. I belong to the Foster Grandparent Program. It's a federally funded program for low-income seniors and our children in school. And we go into the schools and we're assigned children that need extra help. And we help them, and it has worked. I know some of my kids have went from failing to passing to bees. And the, it's in the budget cuts. They want to cut it out. We can't afford it. And Congress won't talk about it. We have to talk about it. One point three trillion dollars. And if we are broke, it's because not because I'm spending it or because you're spending it. We're broke because They've taken all of our money and they've given it away to the Defense Department and they've given it away to the big banks. They're all in collusion, aren't they? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that that this is the biggest lie that we've ever gone. We have so much money, we don't know what to do with it. We give it to stealth bombers, we give it to drones, we give it to bogus wars in Iraq. We're giving it we're giving it away to, to everybody. We have military bases all over the world. We Americans don't even know half of what we're doing with this money. And the sad thing is Americans don't want to know what we're doing with it. We're the United States of amnesia, aren't we? 1.3 trillion dollars for national defense and Congress refuses to talk about it.